hey you guys I'm back with another video um, I will guess I would say uh, this is like my little reaction to the atomic um, heart um, official trailer I guess I might as well call it part two because I did um, another reaction on the first trailer they showed but uh, without further ado let's just hop into this and see what else is new that they have to show off Okay, that was weird. Welcome to the mad, uchronic world of Atomic Heart, a new cinematic and explosive action RPG. Discover details of the amazing and intricate world created for the game. Man, the game looking good, the graphics looking real good. Atomic Heart's setting is a fictional USSR of 1955 in a top-secret military base built to manufacture robots known as Facility 3826. Reminds me of Bioshock. The mastermind behind this facility is a brilliant scientist by the name of Dmitry Sechenov, who pioneered a special liquid substance called polymer in 1936, Expanding on the formidable qualities of his invention, Sechenov managed to launch a huge neural network of AI-assisted robots called Collective. This allowed robots to free the people from manual labor in favor of arts and science. Everything goes smoothly until 1955, when authorities plan to launch Collective 2.0 and introduce a new thought device allowing humans to control the network and issue commands with just the power of thought. Oh, that's a bad idea. The launch of Collective 2.0 is sabotaged, leading to a technological nightmare. Robots attack humans, with hundreds of casualties among facility staff. You are Major P. Wait, 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 wait. And when they made this device, why? I mean, like, that's common sense. Like, once you made a device for everybody to use with their thoughts, what if somebody say, would be like, I, I'm going to try to get the robots or think with their thoughts saying, I want the robots to start attacking people. Like, the person that made it, why didn't they think of that? Like, that was a bad idea. Three. An elite soldier from the intelligence service. You are sent by Sechenov to investigate the circumstances of the incident and restore the neural network. Your mission will take you across the scientific testing grounds of Facility 3826, which spreads like a fungal network throughout the Kazakh mountains. As you roam the base, You'll come across expansive scientific complexes. You no, know, that gameplay looking good every time they show it. Mysterious laboratories. Above ground civilian infrastructure. And discover bizarre underground tunnels packed with spatial puzzles that even the most experienced players will enjoy. One thing you can expect is to never know what to expect. Be it horror, arenas, puzzles, or a plot twist with cinematic cutscenes. Put pressure on this woman. They tried to save you. Uh, why the hell should I believe any of this? You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. You're going to kill me. The hell are you? I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. There's blood all over the place. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? I never expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Human casualties. And he has to be stopped! Poor bastards. What the fuck happened? Oh, that is so disgusting. Who the fuck did this? Am I making myself clear, comrade Sechenov? But you won't be traveling alone. Here is Charles, a polymer AI integrated into your experimental power glove. Charles is a by-the-book sidekick, 
that will provide you with new objectives, story, and character details. It will also provide tidbits on Atomic Heart's looming secrets, and even divulge a bit about your shrouded history. Charles doesn't only have a teacherly personality capable of mid-mission banter. Oh, so you can use him for abilities area, too. Hack robots and other oh, equipment that hack. Through its power, you'll even be able to deploy energy shields and wield electric, freezing, and telekinetic powers. Yo, that's cool. Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichaya. Communicating with other characters, it's entirely up to you to decide what you will say in dialogue, allowing you to enjoy an array of interesting responses. You will have a vast territory to explore. Facility 3826 includes five giant complexes with more than 25 hours of gameplay to beat. Traveling around the world is easier with the aero train or any other mode of transportation still working. But you'll have to stay on your toes since any action may attract unwanted attention and result in your death. As you fight your way out of this nightmare, keep in mind that all robots are interconnected and controlled by the Collective's AI. This is both their strength and Achilles' heel. Take control of the Collective systems, network control terminals, cameras, hawks, volants. Oh, I'm going to do a whole bunch of hacking then. Of the if that's what they're going to let us do. Sorry about this, you guys, you know. Defeated robots and other elements of the network. But robots won't be your only enemies. Scientific plants, sprouts, can find a body and mutate. Mutants do significant damage in battle. There are also Cushions, who are truly formidable opponents. But what makes them special is that they can summon sprouts. You'll have a big problem unless you can keep the two of them from fusing with each other. Oh man. Why does that remind me of like prey or something? Like that to enemy look like robots and mutated creatures. Lay your hands on a cutting edge arsenal, ranging from a sharp axe for male oh, so to a kind of weapons. electric rifle or a cool grenade launcher. I'm gonna use that grenade launcher. Melee weapons will help you accumulate energy that can then be spent with your energy weapons. When it comes to your firearms, however, you'll have to scour through the environment to find bullets or craft them yourself using crafting machine Nora and add elemental effects to them. Oh, okay. Your style will depend on your choice of weapons. So they giving sport. us full access to firearms and mix and match and create as, well as, as we like and use them wisely. Huh. Install additional upgrades for your weapons, such as an extended mag, a collimator scope, an upgraded barrel case, a tactical grip, or a silencer. Search every piece of furniture, computer, and corpse to collect materials that can be used to modify your arsenal. Become unstoppable. Whether you're a hardcore player in need of a frenzied, gore-filled challenge, or an adventurer eager to explore this unique world full of crazy, gripping narratives, Atomic Heart can be molded to your ideal experience. Do you have what it takes to adapt and tame unfamiliar enemies and environments? And can you handle the shocking truth What the heck away? was that? Shine a light on deceit and unearth what Atomic Heart really is. Just know one thing, an atomic heart, the price of truth will be paid in blood, as the utopian dream is not what it seems. Alright you guys, man, atomic heart, man, available February uh, 21st, 2023, bro, yo. Man, every time they show off any thing about this game, I just become more and more interested. Just 
offer this alone sold me because you can mix and match your weapons uh you can put different uh, uh elemental abilities you can pretty much just play how you want to play man that's what i like about games man and developers not forcing you to play like how they intended they are just letting you go out into this this unknown world and explore and and find things out and and just play it the way you want to play it and 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 ex and craft the experience to what what you would want to experience not what they want you to experience it's all about how you know you go through the game and 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 make the experience for yourself that's what i like about about games and developers just letting you be free you know that's that's what i like and that's what makes me want to buy a game y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all feeling about atomic Heart? Like I said, is it a day one cop? Is it a wait for a little bit? Or for you, would it be a hard pass? Hit me in the comments, man. With that being said, man, I'm going to end the video right here. Like I always say at the end of my videos, appreciate anybody that returns to the videos, no matter how long you stay. You know, and for those that do get suggested to the channel, you know, you know, consider just looking around. You know, I'll, I do reactions on games. I can't wait to drop movies as well that I can't wait to drop. And I and and, and I do do live streams. Hit that live stream tab. Check me out. Pretty decent gamer, man. For those that's into gaming, and uh, yeah, consider hitting that like button, that notification bell, and hit the subscribe button. And on that note, you guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.